I recently had a comment on one of our videos where we were basically saying our sufficiency is in Christ and Christ alone and they responded by making the pretty common religious claim that that you must do something first and then God will do his part. You do your part and then he does his part. As in do good things, do good works and then you'll be rewarded, blessed with whatever. And I don't agree for that last part, but I do agree that we do our part first and this is how it works. And I mean he he did first in reality, but after he did first, as in he gave us everything, our part was to disobey. <laughs> that was our part. We did not trust, and we fell from his grace. So then a response was necessary. Because if you go to the religious mentality, there's no explanation for the cross. There's nothing that could have been done uh, by us, as in a good thing, that caused him to say, okay, well, you did that. I'm going to up the ante and I'm going to come here as a man and give my life for you. That wasn't what it was. It was, we did our part. We failed. We fell. We were lost. We were without hope. That was our part. And in life today, it's still our part to the extent that he doesn't need anything from us. He doesn't even need our trust. He desires our trust. And when you give him your trust, as in, I trust him because it makes sense to trust him. He's a good God. He is so good that he became a man like me. He became the Savior of the world, Christ the Lord. And he gave his very life for me. I trust that because I can see I could do nothing about my plight, about my situation. I could do nothing so that then he would look at me and say, oh, I'm going to do something good for you because of your good work. No, there's only one who does good works. And I either participate with him in those good works as he invites me, or I reject them by saying, I'm going to get your goodness by my goodness. That's the religious faith, as it were. It's, it's self-righteousness. It's faith in one's own ability to do whatever needs to be done, to learn of the knowledge of good and evil and do what's good and not what's evil. Well, we don't believe that here. We know we did our part. We fell. We did not trust. We have all sinned and fallen short of his glory. Now we see his glory. We believe in it. The finished work of God. So he finished as far as my salvation goes. And now he is living a life that he allows me to participate in. And that's what my wife and I try to do and encourage you to do as well. He doesn't need any of your righteousness, trust me, even if you had something to offer, which you don't. He would just like you to trust in His and live with Him. In Jesus' name, amen.